no matter how well-meaning we are, no matter how sincere we are, man by default is limited. Welcome to the place where the Holy Spirit is absolutely dominant. Experience transformation, edification, and miracle. This is Refresh Daily. God is the all-wise God and in his dealings with men, please pay attention, I'm teaching now. Man, man by default, listen to me, man by default, by reason of the fallen nature and by reason of the limitation that our humanity brings to us, man is limited, grossly limited, more limited than we will ever imagine. And so as you sojourn on earth, as you walk on this earth, attempting to live out your destiny and your assignment, sooner or later you will realize how limited we can be. No matter how well-meaning we are, no matter how sincere we are, man by default is limited. He is not limited because he is evil, necessarily. He is not limited because... Um, because he's, he's, he's bad or whatever it is. No, 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 no. The same limitation happens to good people and bad people. The same limitation happens to selfless and selfish people. There, there are different shades of limitations that are upon us by reason of wearing this mortal body. You have to be aware of this. And so God in his wisdom and in his love designed several systems of advantage this is what i call them systems of advantage that if and when the saints access these systems of advantage they can begin to turn an ordinary limited believer into a sign and a wonder please pay attention that means that outside of the influence of these systems of advantage nobody has the hope of finishing strong and living the fullness of your destiny in Christ. The advantage that the believer has, listen to me, the advantage that coming into the faith life provides among many other things is the, the access to these systems of advantage. So if you get born again, say at age 40, it's going to take you already. Time is against you. Is that true? Congratulations for coming into the kingdom, but time is already against you because the unit of destiny is time. And if you get born again at age 40, think how long it's going to take you to argue about the ministry of the Holy Spirit until you finally open up your heart to him, embrace the word of God, and now begin to learn the foundational rudiments of the gospel. By the time you gain any level of maturity at all, pending on the pace of your passion, it may be five, ten years down the line. Then now understanding your assignment and beginning to live it out. So by that, that the fact that you got to know God late already puts you in a disadvantage. So God brought into our Christian space systems of advantage like speed so that there is a possibility that under normal circumstances it will take you 10 years to know God and live out your destiny but that there is a condition that can be introduced in your life that within one two years you will catch up with those who have gone 10 years ahead of you it's called speed are we together now yes systems of advantage a woman, for instance, respectfully speaking, who may have been trusting God for a child and she's 10, 15 years down the line. No child. Now, even if she gives birth to a child, how many years would she take in training that child or those children to now become adults and become mature? If she's supposed to have a child, one, 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 one space within two or three years is going to take that woman a long time. So God can introduce something into that condition. That one woman can have triplets or quadruplets. You see, that one is not delivery. That is restoration. 
because God took 10, 12 years and put it in nine months. It's more than just celebrating the arrival of multiple children. God is making a statement by that miracle that you can have dominion over time. Are we together now? Everybody says systems of advantage. Yes, sir. You have to know the implication of being a child of God. Being a child of God has implications. And one of those systems of advantage that was put in the life of believers for our profiting to help us maximize our destinies in Christ is a grace called favor. Hmm. That life by default is cruel life by default is imbalanced life by default can be can be viciously unfair favor becomes the equalizer favor becomes that which brings your life to balance are we together now this grace called favor i already shared with you my experience and let me give honor to many many people but two great people that were used by God very mightily to influence my life and to be conduits for the reception of this grace. Number one, I honor him and I thank God he's alive and I pray he gets to hear and know this. Dr. Mike Mudok. It's one vessel that God used to communicate and help me understand this grace called favor. The second that I must give honor to, and I've stated it here, is Pat Robertson, Christian Broadcasting Network, 700 Club. It was a prayer. I listened to a broadcast where he was narrating the story that as a young minister about to start ministry, he went to God and prayed. And he said, Lord, give me wisdom. Number one, Number two, give me favor. Number three, give me the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I went back and I prayed the same prayer. Lord, give me favor or wisdom. Give me favor and give me the anointing of the Holy Spirit. And like Jabez, God heard my prayer. And the rest today is history. History that glorifies God. History that brings glory to the name of the Lord. Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21. We're going to read two scriptures and then I'll begin to share this deep kingdom mystery. Let's read together in concert. Ready? One to read. And I will give these people favor. Please read. In the sight of the Egyptians and it shall come to pass that when ye go, ye shall not go empty. Please read it one more time. And I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. And it shall come to pass that when ye go, ye shall not go. So you can know that favor is upon you. And you can know when favor is not upon you. Scripture number 2. Exodus 11 and verse 3. Exodus 11 and verse 3. Ready to read again? Thank you for your patience. One, to read. And the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. Moreover, the man Moses was very great in the land of Egypt, in the sight of Pharaoh's servant, and in the sight of the people. Stop. We're going to read it one more time. I know you read it from your mind. Now look at what you're reading and just pay attention to the power of what you're reading. Ready? One more time. And the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. Then he isolates one man and shows what favor can do. He says, moreover, the man Moses, as a result of that favor, was very great in the land of Egypt. Number two, he was very great in the sight of Pharaoh's servants. Number three, he was very great in the sight of the people. Favor. Hmm. What is favor? 
um, let me let me just just pause before you write I think one of the reasons why many believers have not come into the reality of favor the mainstream definition of favor now I I, I, I don't mean to to downplay or insult the fact that there have been many imbalances as far as the teaching of favor is concerned and that is largely the reason why many believers have not been able to step into the experience of favor the definition itself for most of you if i ask you please define for me favor what you will usually say is favor is unmerited access is that true welcome to the place where the holy spirit is absolutely dominant experience transformation edification and miracle this is refresh daily the word of god speaking in the book of psalms 107 verse 20 saying he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from all of their destructions the word of God has that potency and power to transform your life for the better. It has a potency to turn your night to day, to turn your morning into dancing. Many people receive the same word, run with it, and their life never remain the same. We urge you to take this word seriously because your life's about to change. Apply all the principles, all the counsels, all the protocols that will be given to you through the voice of God's servants. We love and celebrate you and we believe your life is about to receive a positive transformation. Please, if this is the first time of visiting our channel, we urge you to like, subscribe and comment, share this video to your loved ones and family. We love you. See you soon.